Everyone's gathered outside. How come we didn't get invited? It looks like some kind of ceremony. My loyal and beloved subjects, Saurian Antiqua speaks. I have been your emperor for little more than twenty years. But today, I stand before you in celebration. So that's the High Entia Emperor, Saurian Antiqua. I will remain your emperor for years to come. But now is the time to announce my successor. May I introduce your crown princess? And there's the lady herself. Melia Antiqua! It's... it's her. She's... she's a princess. Took you long enough? <sighs> her silver spoon accent was a clue. But royalty? My daughter, Melia Antiqua, will depart immediately to face the tomb. She will seek the approval of our ancestors and become your crown princess. The people are fickle. No mask can hide that girl's contaminated blood. First consort, all the pieces are in place. Say the word and the captive Homs shall be no more. The savage who discovers fire remains a savage. Disappointed or not, his highness will turn a blind eye to their fate. And their removal will deprive Melia of some powerful allies. As you say. Mother? We continue to endure the contamination of our bloodline by perpetuating this wretched tradition of a High Entia First Consort and a Hom Second Consort. For how long must I suffer these Homs? Do your duty, Tyrea. As you wish. That mask. Melia. I don't doubt that was Melia. But why the mask? I don't know. But she's different from the other Hyentia. How do you mean? Melia not like other bird people. Many like Hom Hom friends. You might be right. But there are things at play here we can't understand. Wait a minute! Oi! You'll give a Homs a heart attack shouting like that! We've got no time to lose. Melia needs our help. Again? You had another vision, didn't you? What did you see? Out with it already! Excuse me. We ordered room service an hour ago. I'm afraid you've already eaten your last meal. Oh. This update has a collection of good burns from Dunban, actually. But for now, we have to kill some oddly dressed assassins.
It is recommended for this fight that you don't actually have Shulk in your party. Although annoyingly it doesn't give you the prompt to choose who you're using before it starts. Because in keeping with the section at the beginning where Shulk failed to... No, Ryan failed to cut Fiora in half. We can't actually damage any of these characters with the Monado because they're humanoid. You'll see uh, just the number one popping every so often. That's every time Shulk goes to auto hit anyone. I kept him in to show it off. Our other two characters, Dunban and Riki, are powerful enough to just smack their way through these guys anyway. And as you can see, they're doing a chain attack because they're humanoids. We're just going to steal their idea and do a chain attack straight back. Luckily theirs doesn't actually do much. They don't focus on one character. You can get caught occasionally in an enemy's chain attack and they can just blitz your main character. It doesn't happen very often though. For this, they're actually all using weapons very similar to Fiora's or the single-handed blades. And the characters' stances and movements are based on the same modelling. Except these guys are racist. I don't think Fiora was racist. Interesting though to see what happens with Melia, because from our perspective so far, she doesn't look that different from these guys. And the mask she wore for that presentation didn't cover anything up that looks different. But I guess we can't follow a princess round and not get wrapped up in some kind of political intrigue. Just wouldn't be a JRPG otherwise. We could, if it mattered or was necessary, use the topple and break on characters and Shulk would be able to hurt them. But to be honest, everyone else is so powerful. It's it's not a big deal. We are at one with the battle! Who are these guys? Shulk. These are Inquisitors. What is this? More of them! Wait. This is His Highness Kallion, brother to Her Highness Melia. Melia's brother? Do not concern yourself, Your Highness. The matter appears to have been resolved. Seer Alvis? I foresaw the danger. I rushed here, but seem to have missed the fun. They do not look like mere thieves. I am presuming they are Inquisitors of the Bionite Order. A group of assassins long devoted to the Imperial family. Ridiculous. The Bionite Order are a mere... Myth. The Order existed before records began. I, like many others, believed they had long since died out. Yet here they are before us. Is Father aware of this? I suspect he knows very little. He may not even be aware of their existence. They live amongst the shadows, never revealing their true faces. But that does not explain why they would attack these people. Wait, could that have been... No. There's no way. Kallion. Melia is in danger. She'll be killed as an altar if we don't find her soon. Killed? How can you be so sure? Shulk and I share the same gift. Another seer? Which would mean that you can see the future? That's why we have to find her. Now. Your Highness, 
As agreed, you will face the ritual alone. I thank you for escorting me. We wish you a safe return. As history has proven, all those who stay claim to the throne without merit will spend eternity as fallen spirits. I must prove my worth as the next ruler, and I am no less prepared to sacrifice my life than those that have fallen before me. Most wise, Your Highness. Watch your back, Your Highness. Unacceptable. Those who enter the tomb must do so alone. Her life or death is in the hands of fate. Those not worthy of the throne are exactly that. You can't seriously think that. This is your sister. This is Melia. Easy ride. But Dumban! This ritual holds a special significance. It is wrong for us to interfere. I don't like it. But am I right in saying that the rules of this ritual affect only Hyentia? And if some strange Homs happen to get involved, it wouldn't cause a problem? Or is there some rule that prohibits Homs from entering the tomb? No, I suppose not. Then look at it this way. I don't need to know how big a deal this ritual is to your people. What I do know is that your sister's life is at stake. Cut us a break and we'll save her. Who are you? My name is Dunban. I'm sort of the protector of this Mekon bashing band of Homs. Dunban. I know you. At the Battle of Sword Valley, you held back an entire wave of Mekon with the Monado. You know a lot about a battle you never showed up to. My apologies. We do not concern ourselves with the wars of others, be it against the Mekon or otherwise. I was only joking. You had your reasons. I can see that with all these defense systems, you don't really need to fight. Then it is decided. You can reach the tomb by transporter from the center gate. Her Highness has already entered. Shulk, you should hurry. This is the tomb. Defensive measures prevent intruders from entering. You will have to circumvent these to move within the tomb. One thing before we enter. Alvis, you can see the future like me. I am from a long line of seers dedicated to serving the Imperial family. My visions help to protect the Empire. But you're a Homs. Yes. But that is for another time. My ancestry is not easily explained, and my ability to see the future is equally complicated. You might say, I have my own ritual. Is it not the same for you? No. My visions appear suddenly, without warning. At first, they're obscure. Then, as it gets closer to the event, I start to understand. It seems you possess a power greater than I. I still have not seen any danger before Her Highness. Not much use as a seer then, are you? Nothing passes you by, does it? Now you see why I asked for your help. What a lucky coincidence that I happened to see you in danger. A coincidence? But I've seen you use the Monado. The Monado has been passed down the Imperial line for generations. The Sword of the Bionis. It is compelled to do its master's bidding. Magnified greatly, it has the power to control the very fabric of our world, ether. 
control the ether, and your will is made reality. I willed it, and it happened. That is all. Perhaps due to that power, the High Entia sealed away the Monado for centuries. Eventually, it found its way into the hands of the Homs, and then you, Shulk. A coincidence, or something more? You must discover this yourself, for you are the one who wields the Monado. The Bionis is stirring. The ancestral altar lies deep beneath the seals. What trials await me, I wonder? I must not lose focus. I'll never get used to this feeling. I have come to be judged on my legitimacy to the throne by the ancestral spirits. Permission granted. Commencing analysis of genetic data. So cold. There are remnants of ancient spirits in here. This is no ordinary chill. As I explained before, Dunban, the defense systems are designed to prevent uninvited. Well, what does this do? Don't touch! 